I think it's going to be pretty funny to see myself talking about Bitcoin and the 1000 levels and being like, oh my God, that's so freaking crazy. I mean, right now, 2017, it is February, almost the end of February, and we are breaking all time highs. I know 10 years from now, I'm going to be going back to my channel. I'm going to be like, wow, Kyle, you should have done all you could have to save up that Bitcoin because you would have been rich. But unfortunately, um, I can't predict the future. And uh, we don't even know if that's gonna happen, right? We don't know if Bitcoin's gonna go to like $100,000, but it's still pretty cool to know that Bitcoin's making all time high again today. It's trading at 1,170 bucks, which is a little bit lower than the all time high in USD. However, on Bitstamp, Bitstamp's already broken the all time high, which is pretty cool, but they're still, we still need a confirmation of a breakout on all the exchanges before everyone can coincide and agree that we're ready to go to all time highs and actually take a take a step step up that ladder. Okay, I believe that the Winklevoss ETF is factoring into this equation, this bull run equation right now. And I believe people are buying in anticipation of the ETF being approved. Uh, the ETF is a, an, ex, uh, an exchange traded fund set up by the Winklevoss twins and they're waiting on the SEC uh, to approve this ETF. Now there are exchanges like, uh, what is it, BitMEX? BitMEX is, they have, they have some sort of uh, future, future prediction market where pretty much you're gonna be betting on whether or not it's gonna be approved or not. And I believe last time I checked, uh, I haven't checked in a while, but I believe there's like a 33% chance of it actually being approved on their market, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean there's actually a 33% chance of it being approved, but that's pretty interesting. And this ETF, if you didn't know the date, it's we're gonna have a decision by March 11th. And March 11th is pretty sweet because uh, it, say a decision isn't made. Well, if a de decision isn't made, it's actually gonna get auto approved and it sounds sounds pretty uh, backwards to me. You would think that if a decision isn't made, that it would be automatically declined, based on not having enough information or enough uh, intellect on whether or not it should be approved. But it's actually going to be auto approved if a decision isn't made. So, nonetheless, a decision is going to be made no matter what. They have to make a decision, and they're going to either approve it or disapprove it. That's March 11th. So that's still that's still quite. A bit away and you know bitcoin like one day is equivalent to like weeks in the stock market right it's crazy like th these markets are moving really really fast it's brand new blockchain is brand new there's a whole bunch of stuff going on march 11th from you know february 23rd 24th that's still quite a bit away and we're making all-time highs today so what is that gonna say um going into the next few days from now well chances are in my in my own opinion I think we're going to break this all time high. We're going to, we're going to step above this, this barrier, this ultimate resistance, and we're going to kind of hang out a little bit. And I believe that coming up a couple days before March 11th, maybe a day or so before March 11th, people are going to take their profits. They're going to sell in anticipation, sorry, in anticipation of the ETF being disapproved. So if it's disapproved, we might see quite a bit of sell off because this is this is a big step up for Bitcoin. So if we do see this get approved, we're going to see a mass amount of investors that are going to have access to buy Bitcoin. They're not going to be actually holding the Bitcoin. They're going to be holding this this fund. Um, this ETF, uh, they're going to name it coin. It's going to open up a lot of, uh, a lot of doors for investors to come in and actually finally add it to like their portfolio and actually invest into their future with it. Instead of actually buying Bitcoins themselves off the exchanges, they're going to be able to buy an ETF. Okay. So this is going to be Really good news if we do see it approved. Waiting on that, that all time high to break and then we'll see what happens from there but that's my opinion on what's gonna happen. So just be aware and be mindful, especially if you're holding on to some coinage, right? Just be mindful. You don't have to be locked on the charts all day, okay? I mean, since we are going up really fast, I mean, it's probably a good idea to keep an eye on the charts, but don't, you don't have to, you don't have to be locked on the charts like, 
uh, every single tick. You don't want to just be following every single tick, okay? Unless there's some fundamental news, China bans Bitcoin again, which I think everyone's pretty much over that, right? I mean, we've seen we've seen different news pieces come out, and it's it's brought the price down. It's brought the price down. It's brought the price down. But guess what? The price rebounds and it rebounds, which brings into uh, brings in another point. So uh, these Chinese exchanges that had the delays on the withdrawals, right? Uh, to increase preventative money laundering uh, rules. Once they uh, resume withdrawals, we might see the uh, like OKCoin okay and Huobi and all these other Chinese exchanges catch up to the USD price of Bitcoin. And then we might actually see another buying, uh, buying uh, bull run, for lack of better words. All right, guys, so thanks for watching today's video. Really appreciate you uh, being patient and uh, subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate the feedback, the likes on my videos, and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to create uh, my next video. It's going to be about uh, Bitcoin paper wallets. And I'm going to show you how to pretty much create a Bitcoin paper wallet using this one website. Uh, pretty much print it out and then you'll be able to actually send Bitcoin to this uh, QR code, which is your public key. And then obviously you're going to have your private key on you safe and sound. Um, and then you, you can actually store this public key and private key offline on a piece of paper uh, and delete any trace of your private key from your computer from anywhere. Um, so your private key will only stay on this piece of paper you'll have this piece of paper, you can store it away and no one will be able to know that you have it except for you and maybe uh, your bank if you put it into a safety deposit box, but they're not gonna know what you're gonna put, be putting in there. So, uh, but yeah, I think it's gonna be a pretty interesting video. And also I have a video that will be coming up as soon as I receive it, but I, I got a treasure, a trezor, trezor? Yeah, trezor. Pretty much it's like an Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, Zcash wallet. It's a hardware wallet. It's like a USB drive and you plug it into your computer, uh, go through some encryption and uh, voila, you have your you have your Bitcoin and all your stuff. You can send it to this, to this uh, USB drive and then boom, you can store it away just like your paper wallet. So once I do receive that, I will be making a video about that. So definitely subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for all that good stuff. And again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please, please leave a comment below and I will try my best to get to them. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Peace.